Hey everyone, it's Nick from the 1994 Candle Co. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, I know that this uh, background looks a little bit different than usual, um, and that is just because we're actually going to be, I'm gonna be flipping the camera around and you guys are gonna watch me package and order uh, today and stuff. And so it just didn't make sense to set this all up and stuff. So I apologize for the uh, low budget background <laughs> for today. Honestly, it's always low budget, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Also, I did want to give a shout out to my friend Erica over at Memory Box Candle Co. who um, I did get a good portion of like my packaging, um, like how I package orders and stuff like that. Um, I did get a majority of my ideas and stuff from her and so I feel like it's only right to uh, leave a link to one of her packaging videos down in the description box below. Um, she has several of them so I'm not really sure which one it was that I watched years ago so I'll just leave probably the most recent one uh, down in the description box below so you guys can go watch that if you guys would like. But anyway, I'm not gonna waste your time doing a super long intro. Um, we are packaging orders today, so let's get started. We did get a uh, wax melt, as well as they got two of our smaller candles. They really liked this apple cider donuts uh, scent. And so um, they did get a few of those or whatever, both in the wax melt and the candle. And then also our tobacco and vanilla uh, special edition candle. These, I package them up the same way that I do our normal uh, black, like matte black jar candles or whatever. Um, they are slightly larger than those candles, but I still package them the same way and I haven't had any issues yet. So first off, I like to start with this packing paper. Um, we are gonna do the wax melt first just because uh, this is leftover. So I usually cut one of these larger sheets into half for the wax melts just because they're so small, they don't really need, um, you know, like a full sheet or whatever. So I'm just gonna fold it kind of like this. I'm gonna be honest guys, like my wrapping skills are definitely not the greatest. So you're probably gonna look at this and be like, wow, <laughs> like what's happening? <laughs> um, but yeah, so my wrapping skills, definitely not the greatest. Um, I wish I was a little better at it. So it looked a little prettier, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Honestly, I care more about it getting to the customer and being safe and stuff like that, uh, rather than, you know, being super pretty. And then once it uh, is wrapped up like this, I like to put a little sticker on here. Um, I made these stickers myself. The uh, sticker is a, um, I believe it's two by two. I'll throw it up on the screen if it's different, but I believe it's a two by two inch uh, circle from um, online labels. And then just like with all of my labels and stuff, I designed them myself in Canva. And I just realized there's no uh, warning label on this one, so I'm gonna put that on there real fast. These are the same size circles or whatever as the little thank you labels and stuff. Um, but I just use it for warning labels as well. This is why it's always super important to double check your candles before you send them out because this would have not had a warning label on it had I just wrapped it up. <laughs> And then I do like to go ahead and check inside the candle um, just to make sure that I did heat gun the top and everything. Um, for those of you who use 6006, you know that you basically have to heat gun every single top because there's just no way that you're gonna get around that, unfortunately, with that wax. It's uh, just a nature of, you know, the wax. <laughs> All right, and then once you're ready to wrap it up, I do like to lay it, um, I like to turn the paper diagonally. Um, just cause, I don't know, it just seems to wrap better that way. And I like always try to get this point kind of more towards the middle, but of course now that I'm filming, it's not gonna be quite as nice as I usually like it to be, but all right and then we do another little sticker on here just to hold that together so 
so it kind of looks like that. I generally, this is usually more down here, but of course, now that I'm filming it, um, it messed up, so. But honestly, it's not a huge deal. <laughs> These small tins, I actually don't wrap these up just because they are metal and they're gonna go in a gift box here in a bit. Um, and so I just leave them like this or whatever. I don't wrap them up or anything. And then next up, I love this honeycomb packing paper. I am using uh, the white version rather than like the typical brown uh, craft colored version. So you can use either one. I will leave links to uh, both colors or whatever. I've used both before, but I prefer the white. This one also, like, I don't know if it's just because it's a different brand or what, but this one has been the best one so far for like tearing and stuff. Like it does not, um, like when I'm pulling it apart like this or whatever, um, it doesn't like tear in the middle or anything like that when I'm just like lightly pulling and stuff like that. Um, which I've done, you know, I do that with all of them. I like lightly pull it or whatever, but I've had some that will rip off on the sides or whatever, and it's just super annoying. <laughs> so super nice. This one's a lot more sturdy than the ones I've used before. So I will definitely leave a link to this one uh, down in the description box below. But what I do is just kind of, I usually don't stretch it out until after I've actually torn it off, but, um, so this might be a little different, but it's alright. <laughs> um, but then instead of cutting it, I honestly just take it and I just rip it, um, because it comes apart really easily, so you really don't have to worry about it too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a slightly smaller one for the, uh, wax melt as well. I don't really measure it at all or anything. I just kind of eyeball it and stuff and I've never really had any issues with it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place the candle here kind of in the middle of the um, honeycomb paper and then just kind of start rolling it. I do like to kind of pull this out of it as I'm rolling um, just to keep it really um, like separated and stuff. Like the honeycomb is how it kind of uh, keeps it from getting damaged and stuff and shipping. It's essentially like an alternative to bubble wrap and stuff, um, but it's paper instead of plastic, so, which is always nice. I just kind of fold the sides in um, when I get about halfway through or so. Um, and then I like to, of course it's not gonna cooperate because it knows I'm filming. <laughs> uh, and then once you get it together, just kind of keep rolling. I like to keep pulling this out a little bit so that it makes the honeycomb parts, you know, a little bit wider, thicker and stuff like that. And then I just grab some tape and I like to use at least a couple pieces of tape. I've found, unfortunately, that tape does not stick to this super well. I mean, it does okay. Um, which I found that the gift wrap tape specifically seems to work the best. Um, but even that doesn't stick like super great to this paper. I'm not really sure why, um, but for whatever reason, it doesn't stick to great. So I do like to do at least three or four pieces um, in different places just to make sure that it's not gonna like all come undone in shipping. Honestly, you probably don't really need to do that because I'm gonna, if you do it the way that I'm doing it, I'm gonna be putting it in a box anyway, so it's definitely not gonna come unraveled, but I just like to be safe. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing for the wax melt. I love pulling this apart. It's like such a satisfying, just like such a cool look to it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then with the smaller wax melts, I do like to go kind of diagonally or whatever um, rather than from the side, but really you can kind of play around with it and do it however you uh, personally want to do it. But with the wax melts, it kind of leaves this nice little easy, um, just few parts that I need to tape up or whatever. I've had a few different people tell me that they love uh, the way I package things just because they love like it feels like, you know, they're like, it feels like a Christmas gift and I'm unwrapping it and it's so fun. <laughs> Which is always nice to hear. Um, really, I just started doing it because I wanted my products to uh, get to my customers and everything. But it's always nice that, you know, they enjoy the packaging as well. <laughs> and then what I do for the tin candles is I put them in these little 
um, gift boxes. Um, I get these from Uline. I can't remember the dimensions, but I will put it up on the screen because I honestly can't remember what they are right now. I want to say it's like four by four by three or something like that, but I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I just like to go ahead and do both or however many gift boxes you need at the same time. Um, that way they're just kind of all done and you can just uh, go from there. <laughs> And then these black gift boxes are the ones that I use for my large candles. I am going to be switching uh, these white, these small white ones to black eventually um, once I run out of um, this size or whatever. Um, I honestly sell a lot more of our large candles than we do our small candles and so I do still have just a few of the uh, white um, smaller boxes left. I used to have these in white as two. Um, but I ended up switching to black and I'm gonna switch them all to black just because I like the look better. It is slightly more expensive for the black ones, but honestly I think it's worth it because I just, I just like them so much better. <laughs> and then next up I'm just gonna add some crinkled paper. Again I use black because I am kind of obsessed with the whole black, white, black and white, um, contrast, aesthetic, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> if you're a fan of Taylor Swift, uh, the Reputation album is clearly my favorite because of just all the black and white branding and stuff. Uh, I was obsessed with it. <laughs> and I just get this crinkle paper. I actually get it from Amazon rather than Uline. I used to get it from Uline, um, but I found out that it's actually like a little bit cheaper to get it from Amazon and it's honestly just as good as the stuff I get from Uline so um, I didn't have any issues with switching over. I usually just buy like a 10 pound box at a time just because um, I go through so much of it. We actually just had to recently buy another one just because uh, we were out of it and stuff and yeah it like takes a long time to go through thankfully but um, once you do get through it, it's kind of a pain to have to reorder it just because it's kind of expensive to ship <laughs> stuff. All right, so I'll kind of show you guys. I just, once I've put a little bit in the bottom of um, the box, I just go ahead and set this in here. And then I like to take a little bit more and just kind of put it around the sides. Um, that way it's not moving around inside the box just because these boxes are slightly larger than uh, the candle. Yeah, I just get a good bit around all the edges just to make sure that it is not moving around inside the box um, too much. Really that is your main goal and the main thing that I will say is like you want to make sure that your products are not moving around really at all within the box. Um, that will help make sure that your products aren't going to get damaged in shipping or anything like that. Thankfully, like I said, these are metal and so I'm not as worried about them. I thankfully, as far as I know, I've never had one uh, get damaged in shipping um, because they are metal obviously and so they don't... Uh, break or anything like that like a uh, glass would. I will say though just like with uh, pretty much any tin that you use they do dent or whatever so but thankfully I've never had anyone tell me that theirs got dented so as far as I know they haven't. Uh, and then final step I just like to um, put a little sticker on there just so that um, it stays closed um, in shipping and everything like that. It's not popping open or anything like that and the candle's not flying around inside the box. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing with this one. And then these candles, I just slide them right in here like this. Um, I believe this is a six by six by six box, I believe. If not, I will throw it up on the screen again. I don't remember the size. As you can see, it does kind of, um, it's a little bit large for this box, but um, it really shouldn't be with the, um, the extra padding and stuff. It shouldn't have any issues. Um, getting there okay or anything like that. I so far have not had any issues with anyone telling me that they got damaged in shipping or anything like that. And then for these I like to put these a uh, little bit longer um, branded stickers on them um, just to make sure that it's not going to come undone. And also I think it just looks nicer um, with such a big box or whatever. It looks a little weird if you just put like a small circle up at the top <laughs> like with the other ones. So yeah, that is what it looks like when it is all packaged up. 
Before we get to the next part of this video, if you are finding some value in this, um, it would mean so much to me if you would give this video a thumbs up so that it can be shown to more people, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that we can keep hanging out. And then for this order, I do use an eight by eight by six box. Um, you can get these same boxes from Uline. I do get them from a, a different place though, just because there's a box company here in Omaha where I can just go and pick these up and I don't have to pay for shipping, which is amazing because Uline, um, I love them, but they are ridiculously high for shipping. And so uh, I just like to go pick these up when I can. The eight by eight by six box is probably my most commonly used box. I can fit up to three candles in here. I really don't like, I can, well, technically I can fit four. I never do that though, just because I don't like how tight it is and there's literally no room for anything else. Um, and it just makes me a little bit worried because there's like no padding on the sides or anything like that. Um, like there's no room for padding on the sides. Um, and so it makes me slightly worried. <laughs> and so I never send four candles in this, although technically I could, but I just never do. Um, you can do up to three. I really don't like to do that either though for the same reason. Um, but yeah, so we definitely do two or sometimes I'll do a large candle and a few small candles or, you know, a large candle and some wax melts or whatever, whatever it works out to be. Um, this is generally the size of box that we use for most of our orders. So first up, we're going to put the large candle in there and then the smaller uh, tin candles are gonna go right here and I am actually gonna move them slightly more not towards them Not necessarily like in the middle, but just a little bit further from the side so that I can add some padding on um, the left hand side over here Add in some Packing peanuts As you can kind of see, I just filled this one side um, with a bunch of packing peanuts. Just that way there's a little extra cushioning on that one side. And I am just going to add some over here as well. But then we're going to put in the wax melt over here. And then I'm also going to add in a wax melt um, sample. I like to add these into all of my orders just so um, they have another scent that they can try out and smell and see if they like it. Even if they don't have a wax melter, I think that it just, you know, helps them decipher if they're going to want um, a candle in another scent or not, or in this, you know, the specific scent that I send them. <laughs> and then basically same thing, um, just kind of pack in some packing peanuts around the sides and wherever, basically anywhere where there is free space, um, I try to squeeze in some packing peanuts. Obviously you don't want to like mess up the wax melts or anything like that. So you don't have to be like super tight with it or anything, but I do like to just add in a few um, in different places just to make sure that there's no movement or anything like that. As you can see, it's really uh, tightly packed in here. I like to make sure that that is always the case so that there's just no uh, movement happening and stuff like that once the box is closed. And then some other things I like to add in is a candle care card with a thank you on the back that has a code for 15% off the uh, website that they can use for their next order. And then I do like to include a business card with some of their orders. I don't put them in every single one. And the reason being is like, if someone has ordered like, you know, 12 orders from me or whatever, like they're just gonna have a ton of these business cards laying around or they're just gonna be throwing them away. Um, and like the reality is obviously if they've placed that many orders, they know where my website and all that stuff is. So they don't really need that information. Um, but I do like to send them sometimes in orders every now and then just to make sure that um, the person, you know, if they decide they want to give it to a friend or something like that, um, they're able to do that. The nice thing with Shopify is that you can always see, you know, um, when someone placed their last order and stuff. This person has, um, hasn't has ordered in probably a couple months at least, and so I honestly don't know if I even had these business cards the last time that they ordered, so I'm just going to send them one just in case. This is definitely optional, but the last final touch, I like to write a little note um, up on the top of the box or whatever, um, or sorry, on the underside of one of the flaps of the box, I should say, um, just as a nice little personal touch to the customer.
so this is what it looks like once it's all uh, packaged up and ready to go. After that, um, I go ahead and close it up. I do two kinds of tape just to make extra sure that um, it's gonna stay shut and everything like that. So I like to put this tape, normal uh, tape on there or whatever um, first. And then I like to put this branded tape that I got, I believe, from Vistaprint um, on there as well. One, just for extra protection, but two, it also just looks a little bit nicer, I think. Um, and so I just put that over top of the other tape that I put on there. Honestly, if you have branded tape, you probably don't need to do this. I'm just really overly cautious and I'm always afraid that like this tape isn't going to be as good as the other type of tape or whatever and I'm always afraid it's going to like come up during shipping or whatever. Um, thankfully, like I said, I've never had that happen or anything like that, but you know, it's always just kind of a weird fear of mine. So you probably don't need to be this extra cautious, but you know, it's just what I do. <laughs> But yeah, once it is all packaged up and everything, um, I just obviously print out the um, shipping label and all that from my um, Rolo printer over here. I know it's kind of blurry right now or whatever, but um, yeah, I print out a <laughs> shipping label from my Rolo printer and all that. I'm not gonna show that on screen because I'm not confident that I would be able to blur out the address or anything like that. So I'm not gonna show that portion, um, but obviously this is what it looks like once they're all packaged and everything. <laughs> Also another step that I used to do, I no longer do this just because this is no longer my logo. I have since changed it up, um, changed the font and um, the way it looks and added color and all that stuff or whatever. So I no longer use this, but um, it is another option that you can get a stamp. I believe this one came from Zazzle. Yeah, it came from Zazzle, the little Z. Um, but yeah, I got this from Zazzle, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was super cheap. I honestly need to get another one uh, from for my, um, for my new logo and stuff like that. And it also needs to be bigger. I am not good at figuring out sizes of things. Obviously, if you guys saw my Instagram story a little bit <laughs> um, like a few days ago from the uh, packing peanuts or whatever, I ordered like way, way, way more than I thought that I did. So it's fine. <laughs> If you guys have any other questions about how I package my orders or anything like that, be sure to leave those down in the comments below and I would love to answer those for you. Um, but with that, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you guys would like to continue hanging out, there's going to be some other videos that pop up on the screen and I will see you there. Mm -hmm.